Right, so in this demo we're going to show you a little bit uh, how to skin um, Alta. Um, so Alta actually comes with a skin, but the uh, question is how do you actually extend it and modify it. So just to remind you, the last demo I did, we basically created this type of um, cards, uh, flip cards that look like this. And what we want to do is make something that looks a little bit more like this. So when you switch to the other side, right, you got a different color. And then there's the aspects of fonts and colors here. Right. So let's see how uh, you would go about doing this. So one thing you could do, if we go back into JDeveloper, is actually use the fact that a panel box has a different uh, types of color themes. Right. So, for example, we can decide that one of the boxes, the boxes that is on the back, for example, is going to use a dark theme. Right. And if you do this and you save everything and compile the page and go back to your browser and reload the page right, so now when you switch to the other side the box has a different color so this is nice this is good now the question is what happens if you actually want a different color than the default thing that you get here um, for the dark theme right, so let's see how you would go about doing this to do this you're going to create your own skin right, so to do a new skin, you go here and you choose new skin. Okay, and you give a, a name for the skin. And in the next step, you're actually going to be asked which skin are you actually extending. Now, here's the little tricky part: the design time for this for Alta is not actually in the product right now. A runtime support is there. So what we're going to do is we're going to start by extending the Skyro skin. Okay, so we'll click finish here. This will create the skin for us. Right? And then what we're going to do is tell um, ADF that the skin that we just created here in the Trinidad skins file, okay, skin one, instead of extending Skyros version one, we're going to replace Skyros with World Alter. And that's all you need to do. Now, basically, your skin over here is actually an Alta skin. So now you can go about changing um, all sorts of things in your skin. Um, and again, what you will have access to here is those selectors. And you can basically go, for example, uh, to the global selectors for panel box in the region. And we're using the uh, dark theme right, over here. Um, so we might want to change this. Right? So for example, the background color right now is inherited. And we might want to say, OK, this is not the background color we want. We want something that is gray, for example. Right? And if you click Save now, uh, if you actually look at the source, you'll actually see the change that you did. OK. And um, because you created new skin, you actually need to rerun your application. So um, if you want to, you can stop the existing running application and then uh, rerun the page like that. So now when the application comes up and you switch to the other side of the card, you get the color. Now what you're seeing is that right now we just colored the content area so you probably want to skin the other parts as well. right? So again if we go back here and we look at the selector that we were working on this is the content area for dark and you want to cover the other dark aspects as well so um, you would want to go to the header so it's the header core dark okay and set this one to be the same color. Okay, now you can actually see this all happening here. Right? And there's other aspects of highlight if you want to do that. So let's save this change and reload our page in the browser. And that's a bit better. Right? So now this is the color on this side. And if you click here, this is the color on that side. So I got that part done, and this is how you go about creating a new skin. Now, um, 
So just to remind you, when you're working with the skin, what I just did is a global change that will apply to all the instances of a box that are in a dark scheme. Okay? You might want to have some situations where you're changing just um, properties for one specific item. So for example, we saw in the Work Better application, there's a lot of places where we're using bigger fonts with very vivid colors. So let's see how you would go about doing something like that. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to define a new name for this style. And just for the heck of it, I'm going to call it Shy. And then over here, I'm actually going to define some aspects of this. Um, this style, so let's use a font size um, and we'll do 40 pixels and we can also use a color which is white like that. So basically this is a new style and now I can assign this style to specific items in my application. So for example if we go back to our untitled page Actually, in the second box right now, we just have a status meter. So let's add just some simple output text here. Okay. We're going to put inside the box and maybe surround those two the panel group layout. set this to be horizontal and maybe even a the spacer between those two right. like that so now the the second output text let's say that it actually shows a number here Let's put it at full. And if we wanted to have a nicer style, we can use the style we defined. So you actually go to the style class and you're using the style you defined in the skin, which was named Chai. Okay, we'll do save and compile the page. Go back to the browser. And let's reload the browser now. Okay, now when we switch to the other side here, here's the big number in white. So this is how you add your own uh, configured uh, style to the skin you just created. A um, few other things just to explain the difference between this page and the boxes that you see in the work better scenario. Okay. Um, specifically if we look again at the people. One thing you're seeing here is this is a box, but you don't actually see the title. And you can actually hide it, of course, also in our implementation. Okay, so here we have the title. So one aspect is you can remove this and just keep a white space. But if you actually don't need the title, uh, remember that each box, okay, and you can actually select both boxes, okay, have um, a show header part where you can say it set it to never right. and when you do this okay your box is going to be a little different like that okay and uh, now the one thing that was in the header and I needed was the icon that actually lets me spin the card so this is why you're not saying it here so that's it this is how you create a basic skin or extend a skin that extends the alta look and feel